Hello and welcome to my Saint Statue Guide for Fire Emblem Three Houses Maddening. So this is as soon as you unlock it, these are the things you want to go for, and I'm going to explain why. Uh, so you unlock this after Chapter 4. So after the Rite of Rebirth, uh, you get the sort of the creator, and you can do a quest from Flame. So you want to explore the monastery, I would say immediately, like right after this chapter. Flame is down here, get the quest from her, you just pick up some stones in front of each statue. And then you can unlock the saint statues. So the saint statues use renown, which is acquired from winning battles, uh, doing quests, doing auxiliary battles, doing paralogs, things like this. And each different statue gives different buffs to things. The most important thing to unlock immediately is class XP, EXP plus one. So you want to get this as soon as you can. And you usually will have acquired more than enough to get it. So you just want to unlock it. So what does class EXP plus one do? It gives you, it doubles the amount of class XP a unit gets during combat. So when you have a combat, let's say, let's say you're going for a class mastery, right? This is, this is exactly why this is useful. This, this will, instead of getting one, class mastery per combat you now get two so this dec this drastically reduces the amount of farming you'll need to do or the amount of grinding or even just the rate at which a unit masters a class uh so it doubles it and this is extremely useful for min maxing for getting uh certain abilities to make specific builds it'll just make your life a lot easier and also the things leading up to it aren't bad uh lance plus one faith plus one so this increases the rate at which these uh you know, increase from mentoring, like, you know, teaching as the professor, instructing, and in combat in general, and then X, like, EXP plus 5%. This is extremely useful. Uh, the next thing I would say you should probably want to do, or the next thing I think, in my opinion, you want to do, is get all the EXP plus 5s. So it's very cheap to do so. This one? It only costs 1,000 renown. This one? I believe. Yeah, so the way the way the system works is it'll tell you the total number you need for something. So, for example, if you want to get to here, it'll cost you a thousand total. So the first one, in this case, is 200. The second one, 300. And then the third one, 500. So a total of a thousand. I recommend getting all the, the EXP plus 5s. Generally, you're not going to be able to get an EXP plus 10 for a while, so you might as well get 20% bonus XP. This will give you extra level ups. And also, most of these things you're going to use, like bow plus 1, that's usually going to get used. Uh, brawling, depends on if you're running brawling or not. And then for the rest of it, it depends on what you want. Uh, getting the max, like, you know, the... The very final thing, like luck plus charm, max plus five, strength and speed, max plus five. These are going to be very late game. Usually you're not going to run into an issue where you even need these, to be honest. Unless your units are like really over leveled. There are, some, there are a few instances where this is the case, where your units are like going to benefit from this. But it just increases the maximum level a unit's stats can increase to. Um, okay, so for the rest of it... It's really up to you, it's really up to what class build you're running. Um, you can focus on getting all the EXP plus 10%. That can be good as well, because like that's you know plus 40% if you get all of them. Uh, because we're already invested into this one. Um, I am going to be using a lot of lances in this playthrough, so I might as well get an extra Divine Pulse. And then eventually, Lance plus 2. But depending on your team comp, what you'll want to do is pursue like one of them, I would say. Um, so in this case, because I'm going to be using a lot of Lance, uh, I'm, also, I'm probably going to be using a lot of Faith too, because I will be running Flame with Rescue. So getting more, like, faster Faith growth is nice, and Lance growth is nice as well. Uh, if you're running Falcon Knights and Pegasus Knights, which I'm going to be running most of. So we're going to get Lance plus 2, Faith, and then 10 XP. And then I would skip the last one and then just go through the next thing. Uh, some of these are better than others, depending on, like, for example, the Sword one. The sword and riding one, I'd say, is probably one of the worst ones. Um, I don't think I don't think ho like mounted like horse teams are really a thing. I mean, you could you can theoretically run anything; anything's viable. 
but I don't think that like sword is usually considered bad, and riding isn't really the best thing. Uh, but even so, like if you were to go like to pursue this one, it'd probably be for the reason, and maybe the riding, depending on like if you're doing like Valkyrie, I th or not Valkyrie. I'm sorry. Or no, that's correct. Yeah, I was thinking of um, Dark Pegasus or whatever the hell, Dark Flyer. No, but yeah, Valkyrie. You could this could be good for Valkyrie just for the reason and the um, the riding. But the riding unlocks early, so if you're gonna do this for the riding, that's not bad. I would say this is probably the most like the the main reason you'd do this is for reason, and maybe increasing your magic if anyone even is about to hit cap, which is unlikely. Uh, for this one, you have heavy armor, you have bow. Uh, bow is extremely good; everyone knows it. Heavy armor, you can run it if you want to. Getting weight minus three and then weight minus five is okay, but it's it's kind of a pain to get. So I would say the best ones are probably. Um, probably the, like, these, these three seem to be better, because you get reason from this one, reason in riding, uh, flying, axe. This one is probably the most optimal for most players, um, getting things in, getting things axe, getting things flying. This is, this is Wyvern Lord. This is the Wyvern Lord thing. Like, so basically this is, like, Falcon Knight, healer, and this is just, like, straight up Wyvern Lord. Uh, you get authority, you get flying, you get axe. This one is probably, like, in, in terms of, like, how optimal it is, this is probably the most optimal one if you're just going for, like, min-maxing and just, like, Wyvern Lord spam. Because everyone knows how good that is. Uh, but, yeah, I would say focus on the XP. So, right now I have plus 20% XP. I have the class XP plus 1. That's, like, even if you just, if you don't plan on using lances... Or faith that much. Um, you're probably going to be using warp though, so that's kind of like like you you want the faith to be honest. Like if if you're doing min maxing and even LTC and shit, you're going to want the faith for warp. You want warp as early as possible. Um, if you can get it before you even get these, then you don't need to do this. But I would say class EXP would be extremely useful no matter what you're doing. It's always good. Uh, being able to test into multiple classes and then pick and choose different builds depending on the situation is like hugely useful Getting the extra XP hugely useful and then the rest of it depends on your build So I'd say it's up to you as to which one you want to make use of but uh, Was that Chickle? <laughs> Saint Chickle? Chickle? I don't know. This one's really good for Wyvern spam. This one's really good for Falcon Knight spam. Uh, Falcon Knights are really good you know, using lances, obviously. Uh, but the faith helps because you want, like, rescue spam and warp spam, so you can you can push them out. You can, you can kind of, like, push them out and they can nuke things. You can have them fly out with, like, stride and then pull them back with rescue, or you can have them just fly out and rescue because they have, like, eight movement, so... Pretty crazy. A lot of, lot of different strats. Then, of course, if you want to just run bows, you know, this is your, this is your guy. Saint Indec. Okay, so yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed this or found this useful. Uh, this is like very early game, like I just unlocked these, so I'm plus 20% XP and then double the class EXP, and then also I got another pulse, so hugely useful, makes maddening much easier, especially if you're just trying to beat it. Uh, but yeah, thanks for checking this out, and peace.